Hi, welcome to the Barcode Arena YouTube channel. Today's video, we are going to show you how to connect your Windows Embedded Handheld 6.5 Operating System Barcode Scanner to your Wi-Fi network. Uh, right now, I've got an MC9190 from Motorola pulled up here. Um, that would be this device that you see very often. Uh, this video is also applicable to the MC75A running WEH 6.5, the MC55A, and the MC3190. This device is running the newest updates, and there are some other models that are running Windows Embedded 6.5 that are going to be a little bit different than this. You could follow this video, but we're going to release a, another video for those similar devices. We'll try to make this quick, and let's get going here. So. Number one is check to make sure your Wi-Fi radio is turned on. By factory state, the Wi-Fi radio is typically in the off position when you first boot it up. So settings gear, connections, wireless manager. In this case, it's already on, but normally you'll see it off like this. So just go ahead and click it on. Close this out. Click your Wi-Fi icon here and drop down the work setting and change it to the internet. It's just going to play nicer with a broader range of wireless networks. Click OK to save that. And back to your home screen, hover over Wi-Fi, which is your home base for managing your Wi-Fi connectivity. Click Fusion to pop open the user interface. Um, let's change a couple of quick settings and options here. Drop down your list and hit regulatory. This is the most common setting to disable right off the bat, which most common networks will not allow a device to connect with this setting turned on. Drop it down again. Band selection, we like to enable both band widths from the get-go. Drop it down one more time. At the bottom here is export. Click export options and save. This is going to permanently save all of the settings that we just changed throughout cold boot. So if you ever have an employee bring you back a scanner that's not connecting anymore because it rebooted, it's because you're not using this procedure and we'll get back to exporting the profiles too when we're done. Click OK. Open your Fusion back up. Find your wireless local area networks, pulling up your Wi-Fi networks within range. It's going to pull up our office networks here, and we got a lot. It's pulling up a whole bunch of Wi-Fi networks around the area. Tap yours. Once it's tapped, hold your stylus over it a second time to right-click it. And create your profile. Here is your setup wizard. Before you go through this wizard, check with your IT or network administrator or someone who's comfortable logging into the Wi-Fi routers you have at your facilities to verify what version of security your Wi-Fi network is. It is imperative to know what security mode and how it's encrypted so you can set these things up right. If you have one setting off, it's not going to work, so make sure you double check your settings. So step one of eight, your network name and the name of your profile, you can just leave that the way it is. Um, your country, you can just leave it at allow any country. You can make it USA if you really want to, not necessary. Um, it's going to prompt you for a regulatory warning here to make sure you're in the right country. Click next. In our case, we are running a WPA2 personal with a mixed mode. So I'm going to leave it here. Um, some of you might be using Open or Mac Filter with a maybe a WEP. It, you'd be in pre-WPA. Authentication type is going to be none. In our case, since we are running a mixed mode, I'm going to check on Allow Mixed Mode. Also, double check your router to determine whether you're doing a AES encryption or a TKIP. That is critical for connecting to your network. We're doing a passphrase, which is just a standard password. Normally, uncheck your 
password so you can make sure you've got all the capitalization correct because passwords for Wi-Fi are case sensitive. I'm going to keep it masked for obvious reasons. Go ahead and type it in here. Click next. We're going to do a DHCP. For those of you more advanced networking people, you can uncheck automatic IP address and do a static IP and a static DNS if you want to. Transmit power automatic. We always do CAM. Here it's the highest performance. Click save. Now you're going to pull up your Wi-Fi networks here. Always make sure that this dummy profile is disabled. It's critical that that's disabled so that your device is not trying to connect to a dummy profile. So if it's not X'd out like this, just double click and click here. It would normally say disable. So just disable that. Click OK. You can see we're connected to the network. Last thing here is we're going to export click options, drop it down, click export, export all profiles, save, and you're officially done. And that's how you connect a Windows embedded 6.5 OS scan gun to your Wi-Fi network. Have a good day. Thanks guys. Bye.